All right, we got here a Jeep Liberty. It's a 2006 with the 3.7 liter in it. Customer complaint is it's misfiring on multiple cylinders. They replaced, swapped around the coils. It didn't do anything. So we're gonna look at it. On Jeeps, whenever I see misfires on a lot of cylinders, I'm always gonna start with a relative compression test. Or even before that, we're just gonna do a clear flood crank. Mm, I gotta get the keys. All right, so we're gonna do a clear flood crank. So on most domestic cars, you just turn the key to the on position, hold the accelerator pedal all the way down, and it will stop from start. There we go, you hear it? It's definitely missing a cylinder. So now we're gonna follow up with a relative compression test with a sink, with an ignition sink, so that we'll be able to verify which cylinder is misfiring and then we'll stick a camera in and see. Usually, I've seen many broken valve springs or stuff like that on these type of engines. All right, here's the setup. We got the amp clamp around the negative cable for relative compression. Then we got a 10 to one attenuator on the coil because it's a two wire coil. So it's gonna have spikes of around 400 volts and you don't wanna fry your scope. And that goes to the Pico and we have the PDR set with a trigger. And now I'm gonna crank the car with clear flood mode. Right, turn the key on, hold the accelerator pedal all the way down to the floor. Alright, keep cranking, keep cranking. Alright, now we should have something on the scope. There we go, we got a dead hole. So, if you look here, I don't know if you can see. You got, this is a six cylinder engine, so in between this ignition strike, we have one, two, three, four, five dead hole and then starts again so we have no compression on one cylinder now i just have to figure out which ignition this is this coil this is and then we'll count from the firing order and we'll see which one it is all right so this is the layout one three five and then two four six on this side and the firing order is i don't know if you can see it in the camera but it's one six five four three two so we're on cylinder number one so now it's 165432. So we're going to go back to the scope. And we have 16543. Solar 2 is the one that has no compression. So now we're going to go back to solar number 2. I'm going to pull out the spark plug. I'm just going to stick a camera in just in case we can see something cool. spark plug that is definitely a mechanical issue right there i don't know if it's focusing but it's crushed so let's see what else we'll find in here all right i'm here in front of the camera um i'm videoing so hopefully i'll be able to overlay it but there's like some sort of big piece of metal right in front of the cylinder. I think it's like the outside of the valve or something. I have no idea what that is. I can't even get in it. It's blocking the cylinder. But I can't tell if it's part of the valve that's broken. But there's, I don't know. There's something there. Oops. I get it off. You see, I can't even get into the cylinder because of this big piece of metal that's just sitting there. Oh, here, I can get in. And you could, I'm scared I'm not going to get out, so I'm not pushing my way in. But you could see over there, you could clearly see there's markings on the cylinder. But yeah. All right, so this thing's an engine. How many miles are on this thing? I mean, I'm sure someone could rebuild it, but I don't think it's worth it at this stage. There is 154,000 miles. That's up to the customer or the shop or whoever makes that decision. Definitely not me. All right, thanks for watching.
Okay, okay, go, Craig. Yeah, the bell's not moving at all.